Hello everyone, welcome back to the classroom. Now in this class, what we are going to talk about is objective, goal and target. So, as we have thought that each and everything, objective, goal, target, they are all in the same things. But whereas they are not. Whereas they are not. So, we are going to discuss about each and everything related to objectives. We are going to discuss about goals. We are going to discuss about, I mean, uh, the types of strategies. Yes. So, there are a lot of strategies which are basically made by the top level organization. I mean, uh, the top level management. You guys have learned in company law, what we have learned in company law that there is a top level management. The top level management consists of board of directors, right? After that, if I'll talk about a level subordinate to that, we have managers and the lower level basically consists of clerks, which are basically responsible for the implementation. So let us talk about a little bit of things. If I'll talk about India, what happens? Each and every time the framing of policies that is too much good, that is amazing. That is amazing, but 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 when it comes to but when it comes to like implementing them, you come to know about that there are a lot of blunders. I'm sorry to use this kind of words, but there are, but there are, right? So what happens over there? That each and every time something has been given as a particular reform, what happens? That is not implemented properly, which leads to corruption, which leads to rest of the things as well. Now let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. So, what is going to be our topic for the day? Our topic for the day is going to be objectives. Our topic for the day is going to be a particular goals and targets. Right, this is what we are going to cover today. So, now, when it comes to objective goals and targets, they are not synonyms. They are not synonyms, but they do have some of the common phenomena. They have some things in common. What is over there in common, that is not relevant. That is never basically forms a part of examination that what is common. Because what is common each and every time they used to perform and they are uh, measured for performance targets. That what is going to be a particular outcome that is the performance target. After that the achievements which are used as a particular benchmarks. After that there are basically various vision and mission. You guys know about what is vision and what is mission now. What is mission? Ye pata na beta dono. Right. So after that objectives, they are basically, they can be used interchangeably with goals and they are, because goals over here, they are defined very precisely. They are defined, they are more specific, right? Whereas when it comes to objectives, objectives are open-ended. Open-ended and they are close-ended. And they are close-ended, right? Should I go ahead? Now moving so before moving further as we are going to talk about the objectives that what is going to be our objective let me tell you some of the elements about formal strategies so while framing any of the strategies it carries three formal elements one two and three so the very first is you are required to specify the goals to be achieved that which goals your company is going to achieve after that you are going to tell them about the policies that which policy you are going to apply policies that guide which policy is going to particularly guide your company or limit action or limit action after that and after that first of all you have these policies and what is going to be the sequence of the actions action sequence that after applying this strategy i'll be moving on to this strategy First action, second action, third action, and in the same sequence, you are required to find out that what is going to be our approach. Okay, better just like you used to study first of all, after that you used to revise, and after that you prepare for the, you are prepared for the exam, right? Just like that, there is a action sequence as well. So now moving on to strategic intent. What is strategic intent? This term has been used into your module and this basically forms a part this can form a part of examination because of a different terminology so intent intent here refers to the intention that why you are basically making this strategy aap ye strategy kyo bana rahe ho piche ki intention kya hai so it is helpful in many ways to company i mean basically what is intention so it it is basically aggressively it uh, the strategic objective and concentrates on the resources of the company and the competitive actions right what is the intention 
to concentrate concentrate on company's resources or resources of company concentrate on resources of company and after that what is over there into the next part that if you are going to focus on the concentrate on the resources of the company and after that the competitive actions that how you can attain a particular competitive advantage so this strategic intention basically signifies these kind of things and how it is helpful it can by it can help you in making the dominant company in industry helps company in becoming the dominant company in industry so if i talk about i mean the smartphones apple is the dominant company dominant company in industry pata hai apple ko dekh dekh ke to sabne apne mobile phone mehange karne shuru kare people used to look after class are that person has a phone from apple ah raise why raise ha after that now moving on to next now unseating the existing industry holder so as you guys know about reliance jio right industry leader so what is over there that before jio came into picture who was holding each and everything vodafone was holding each and everything airtel was holding each and everything but what were they they were existing industry leaders they were sit, uh, they were basically sitting on the in, uh, on the chair of an existing leader after that what happened jio came and jio basically took each and everything right delivering best consumer services it helps in delivering best customer or consumer whatever you want to write service and in industry after that turning new technology journey new technology into products and products capable of changing the world in which people work and live work and live so what does it mean a new technology which is going to basically change the change the world in which people live so you guys know about computers right you guys know about computers nobody has an idea that computers are going to come into our life in such a way that you will be not you will not require such kind of calculations or the paper work each and every kind of paper work has been basically abolished by using of computers varna aap log bhi aaj ke time pe bhi kya hota ki ek kahin pe ja rahe hote dhoop mein dhakke kha kha ke class leke ghar pe aa rahe hote yahi hota so just like that a new technology delivering the best customer services unseating or i mean removing the existing industry holder and making a dominant position in the industry now moving on to next should i go ahead now objective and goal beta uh, i will not explain both of the terms differently i'll what i'll do that i'll basically tell you a difference between both of them using that what you guys can do you guys will basically come to know about that what is objective and what is goal what is objective what is goal and let me make a basis over here acha yaad rakhna hamesha that each and every time you guys are writing something objective and goal while writing the points you have to find out the basis basis alag se yaad nahi karna you need not to remember basis on a different platform what you have to do you have to first of all write objectives are timeless are timeless unending goals are temporary beta hope you guys can make sentences properly time faced time faced okay if objectives relate to ongoing activities to ongoing activities that is it is open ended it is open ended and when it comes to a particular what you used to say is a goal it means it is close ended acha what is common common both of the points 
what is common sir time and time is common so what is going to be the basis time frame time frame is going to be the basis so beta the approach is really really simple the approach is very simple right now moving on to objectives each and every time they are stated in broad they are broad they are general terms they are general terms what they used to do they used to deal with style image deal with style image and self perception and self perception so what is over there what we are going to what what we are doing over here in this point we are specifying them we are specifying them goals are more specific goals are properly specific right they are stated in terms of particular result stated in terms of particular result result to be to be achieved by to be achieved by specified date that by this date i am going to do this what is that that is goal so this is more specific right so the basis is going to be kya common hai dono mein specificity specific aage it by its specificity they are broad they are into general terms right they are into general terms acha should i show you something as well okay so beta this is basically patanjali ayurved hospital so this is not uh, okay so look over here what is going to be what are basically the objective this is randomly what i put over there to make a disease free world through the scientific approach to yoga and ayurveda right what are they they are the objectives they are the objectives after that to establish a new world health organization to fulfill the resolution of making a new world free from disease medicine through research work our great saints and wells maharshi patanjali charak and this is basically something different from baba ramdev right okay so what are they they are stated in general terms general terms mein chalo tata motors ka check karte hain you guys know about tata motors tata motors came into picture basically when tata nano was launched so tata national growth Tata Nano is a four passenger car city built by Tata Motors. Okay, so now we are going to talk about the ethical objectives. Tata Group had never compromised on ethics. Its last year edited whistleblower policy for the benefits of company and society. अच्छा ये पढ़ा है आप लोगों ने whistleblower policy? था सिलेबस में? नहीं था? कोई बात नहीं. That is just like CT बजाओ, शोर मचाओ into your passenger buses or, or buses or the state buses. उसमें लिखा होता ना? अपनी सी लुक लुक अंडर योर सीट देयर कुड बी अ बॉम्ब रेज वॉइस अर्न रिवॉर्ड राइट द कंपनी बिलीव्स इन कनेक्ट ऑफ द अफेयर्स सो दिस इज जस्ट अ ऑब्जेक्टिव आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट बेसिकली ओके जस्ट लीव इट देन लेट्स मूव बैक टू दिस पॉइंट दिस इज मच बेटर सो मेकिंग अ वर्ल्ड अ पीसफुल एंड ट्रंकल प्लेस बाय योगिक टेक्निक्स टू इरेडिकेट टू फैटल इफेक्ट्स ऑफ मशीन्स एंड वेपन्स सो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स लाइक दैट जनरली हैपन So what is that objective पढ़ लिया किसी का हाँ पढ़ लिया पढ़ लिया अब goal भी पढ़ाओ नहीं goal नहीं पढ़ाओ ना ना goal नहीं पढ़ाओ एक ही पढ़ाओ बस जल्दी खत्म करो यार इतनी देर हो गई है तुम्हारे को बैठे बैठे यहाँ पे now moving on to next बेटा now I'll be moving on to the next thing time specificity after that now we are going to talk about that when it comes to objective objectively objectives are stated in nature of stated in terms of relevant environment relevant environment where well, they are stated in terms of relevant inter environment that this environment is external to external to organization external to organization so when it comes to this was objective and when it comes to goals goals are internally focused goals are internally focused beta objectives are all the time externally focused and goals are 
इंटरनली फोकस ऑब्जेक्टिव क्या होते हैं बाहर के वर्ल्ड से रिलेट करते हैं और जो गोल्स होते हैं दे आर इंटरनली फोकस्ड ओके एंड कैरी इंप्लीकेशन एंड कैरी इंप्लीकेशन अबाउट How resources are utilized. How resources are utilized, or will be utilized in future. That how you are going to utilize resources and how you are going to utilize them in future. At present, how you are utilizing them and how you will deal with them in future. so this is all about objective and goals so what we are going to talk, uh, what we are basically talking over here about we are talking about the focus it focuses on external environment it focuses on internal environment okay this is the focus now so if we talk about objectives objectives are all the time stated and well relative terms stated in relative terms and when it comes to goal they are expressed in absolute terms expressed in absolute terms so how this is all about that how you are going to measurement what is going to be the measurement they are stated in relative terms and they are stated in absolute They are stated in absolute terms. Got it? So there is something known as a particular relative term. If I talk about reliance, so reliance has basically an objective like that it is going to acquire the topmost position among the Indian companies. So among the Indian companies, what it says among the Indian companies, right? So what is that? That is relating them with other Indian companies as well. and if i talk about goals so company can state it, it objectives like uh, we are going to achieve 10% growth in sales in next month 10% growth in next month so this is there is no much nothing like that is totally absolute either aapke paas absolute hai that means that is totally specified that is totally specified right now should i go ahead now moving on to next beta in examination you people might get a question where you might get a question you might get a question like in by making any of the case studies that what are going to be the growth in, growth priorities aapki growth priorities kya honi chahiye if you see this in the question then how will you answer what are going to be your growth priorities so the question can be like that you are appointed as a cfo into a particular company okay you are appointed in c as a cfo in a particular company so after that what happens that you are appointed as a cfo in a particular company that company is further looking for growth opportunities so what is the what are the things which are required to be managed in order to achieve growth within a period of next 3 months ab kya hua kuch samajh nahi aaya growth kaise laaye aapki company how you are going to achieve growth so how you are going to answer it the answer is going to like that what are going to be the growth priorities while we'll talk about growth priorities there is a particular order which is required to be followed so what is the order the very first is development of development of profitable market Preeminence. It's double e over here. It's P R E E M I N E N C E. So preeminence over here refers to basically the strength which your company possess of existing companies of existing companies through new development. through new development of new strategies new strategies where existing 
stores so they do have an existing stores whatever the existing resources that you have you are going to use them using them you are going to develop your company you are going to make new strategies you are going to make new products which are going to help your company in developing a profitable market as compared to existing companies so beta using the same resources using the same resources which your company has you are going to make a new development we are going to make a new development by using this new development what is going to happen your company is going to make a profitable market going to make a profitable market now moving ahead expansion of company expansion to new markets to new markets i still remember when apple was over there apple used to be traded only on online basis and that was only in us and after that they basically moved on to india as well and uh, i heard uh, basically one of the statements from the ceo of apple he clearly said that people in india love us uh, oh sorry love apple why they love apple kyunki yahan bahut zyada shop hai tera bhai ka phone aaya credit card kar lete hain log sab log now after that acquisition of acquisition of retailing companies of retailing companies so if i talk about retaining companies beta apple apple is a manufacturing company right if they have taken over some of the retailers if they have taken over some of the retailers then what is going to happen the retailers which they have taken over the retailers which they have taken over they have basically they, they have taken over so apple is going to have their own outlets apple will have their own outlets they will have their own outlets na bolo they will have their own outlets they will if they have their own outlets then the profit is going to rise agar aap wholesaler bhi ho aap retailer bhi ho then in that case the outlet uh, the profit is going to rise yes aap hi banate ho aap hi bechte ho so the sellers commission will get excluded wo bahar ho jayegi right after that the very last point which talks about internal development internal development of retailing strategies you are going to develop proper strategies for retailing let me give you a proper strategy beta let us suppose that there is a retailer it's a very simple strategy retailer has two products the both of the two products are comp uh, are uh, competitors on x on x product he used to get a margin of 20% 20% is the profit belonging to retailer on why the 5% is belonging to retailer for which for which product the retailer is going to push the sale retailer kisko bechne pe zor lagayega x ko why because the profit is maximum right ek why company said sir if you are going to give us 1000 piece uh, i mean 1000 uh, sales per month then we will give you 1 lakh rupees आप किस पे जोर लगाएगा सर इस पे भी जोर लगाएगा नाउ ही विल आल्सो पुश व्हाई सर ही विल कंपेयर ओके पर ऑल दो ही इज गोइंग टू पुश बोथ ऑफ देम राइट शुड आई गो है नाउ बेटा आफ्टर दैट दिस इज देयर इज गोइंग टू बी अ लास्ट टॉपिक वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड अबाउट मिशन एंड विजन राइट अब नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रेटजिक लेवल्स इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रेटजिक लेवल्स इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so as i told about as i told you guys that you guys have learned company law what happened in company law you guys know about the corporate level so what is the corporate level corporate level is a level which is over there at the topmost position below this there is a business level which consists of managers which consists of managers and after that the functional level over there the the basically the strategy is totally operated right now moving ahead moving ahead now let's move on to corporate level if i'll talk about corporate level that it consists of ceo consists of ceo chief executive officer the person who is falling over there in definition of kmp section 2 sub section 51 other senior executives other senior executives right and after that comma board of directors comma corporate staff 
I mean the most senior management is associated over there. What they do? They are employed to oversee the development of strategies. Oversee development of strategies. Uh, strategies of whole organization. Of whole organization. They look after the complete organization. They look, used to look after the complete organization that what is over there. Right. Now, let me make a correction. Let me make a correction. I'll make it much easier for you guys. Just give me a moment. Huh? Just hold on. Now, it's going to be business level. After that, it's going to be there on the next page. I'll take that one. Huh? Sir, aisa kyo kara aapne? Beta aisa is liye kiya that you guys will understand it much better. So, now what is going to happen over there, if I talk about that what they do, they develop or they define mission and they also define goals. They also define the vision. That what business you should be in, where are you standing at present, each and everything is defined by the corporate level. They, every thing, every decision, they take from their home. Just like that, the, I mean, the people you have uh, as the most elder member in the family, they are just like them. They are just like them. Okay, allocating resources, allocating resources to different business. If a company do carry different businesses, so if I'll talk about Patanjali. Right. If I talk about Patanjali, Patanjali will be there into is there into multiple businesses. Sir, multiple business may have yes, it is there into multiple business. You will come to know about it. So business X1, business X2, and business X3. So they the corporate level that is going to decide that how many resources would be given over there. 500 CR over here, 100 CR over here, and 300 CR will be given over there. Who is going to decide then? Corporate level is going to decide this thing that to which business we are going to allocate how much resources. Right? Formulating, formulating strategies. Formulating strategies. They also used to formulate the strategies. Now, talking about the business level. Now, talking about the business level. So, if we talk about the business level, what happens over there into a into a business level sir kya kar rahe ho aaj aap samajh nahi aa raha acha samajh nahi aa raha samajh to aa raha hai jhoote dekho so this is basically a self contained division it's a self contained division sir matlab kaise beta you know about departments how many of you are pursuing training so you know about the, there's an HR department, there's a finance department, right? There's an administration department or it's okay, production department, operations department, purchase department. You have each and everybody which is over there, right? You have a purchase department. So, which what, what they basically do, they provide a product, provide a product. They used to provide a product to particular market. They decide that in which particular market, which kind of product will be given. They have made the strategy. Corporate level used to make the strategy. But they are the one who are, is going to decide that which product will be given to which market. Right. Now, moving ahead. So, what happens over there? So, these managers are basically, they, the people who are over here, they are the managers. Wait, let me make a better clarification. The people over there who are going to be the managers who takes place, they what they do so that there is a direction there is a strategy which comes from corporate level direction from corporate level after getting a particular direction from corporate level they are going to make the concrete strategies for individual businesses concrete strategies for individual business i mean a kind of pediatrician See, look at this idiot, look at this idiot. For individual business. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Somebody, what the hell is going on? Just hold on, huh? just hold on. 
Should I go outside? Let's see who is. I don't know 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 who is. A sort of construction is going on. That's why it's going on. Now, they are going to make the strategies for individual business. So what does the corporate level say? So let us suppose if the corporate level has said that you want to be a global leader. You want to lead the industry in 10 years. Lead in 10 years. So now the business level that is going to decide that how we are going to lead it. Business level is going to decide that how we are going to do it. They have made a particular this. Now they have given you a strategy as well. But that strategy will not apply to all the business. That same strategy cannot be applied to construction. Right. That same strategy cannot be applied to FMCG. That cannot be applied to e-commerce. Right. That cannot be applied to bank. So if a company is all in all these businesses, the same strategy cannot be applied to each and every kind of business. So this business level strategy, the managers, they are going to make the individual strategy for each and every business. Okay, the managers they are going to make individual strategy for each and every business. Should I go ahead, beta? Now, talking about the last kind of strategy, the last kind of strategy is functional level. Functional level. Now, the functional level strategy. If we talk about this, then what is functional level strategy? Functional level strategy. They are the people who are responsible for who are responsible for specific business functions. Specific business functions or operations. So you guys basically heard about that this uh, a particular team has been assigned for a project. The team has been assigned for project. Now this team is going to function. Now this team is going to work upon that particular function. So what happens? They are going to basically to constitute our company. Whether they are going to constitute a company or its divisions in order to achieve a particular. Operation. They are going over here. It does not mean that you are going to make a particular public company, private company. They are going to make a team. They are going to make a particular team or its divisions. Okay. So functional managers over here. The people who are over here, we used to call them functional managers. Functional. Managers. So the functional managers, they have a basically a major strategic role. Major strategic role. Yes, because they are the one who are responsible for the implementation. So the major strategic role, as they are responsible for, they are responsible for functional strategy. They are responsible for functional. Strategy in their area, in their area that help that help the objectives set that help the objectives set by business. That help the objectives set by business and corporate levels. So whatever the business objectives which have been set by the above two levels, they are the one who are responsible for the functional. That this that that their strategy is going to function properly. So if I talk about the functional managers, they are basically they provide most of the information. They are the one who provide information and makes it possible. Provide info and makes it possible. And makes it possible for business business to formulate realistic to formulate realistic and attainable strategies and attainable strategies. 
right so now each and every time beta adjust strategy is adopted by the two these two topmost levels these levels used to make a particular strategy now if they used to make the strategy it's the functional manager who used to provide the information and make it basically possible for the business that yes those strategies are attainable we can achieve the strategies which have been made by the top two top levels so what happens over there over there the corporate level they used to make strategy right after that what happens with the business level business level used to translate into a general statement so that it can be applied to business number 1 business number 2 business number 3 and so many when it comes to functional level strategy what happens that they are the people who are majorly responsible they are the people who are majorly responsible for the functionality they are responsible that yes whatever the strategy which has been made by the corporate level whatever the strategy which has been made by the corporate level that like can be achieved by the functional manager that can be achieved by the functional manager wo functional manager bhi achieve kar sakta hai right now 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 the chapter is yes now we are done with the chapter now we'll see you in next class so this is jana jaldi se aana after that we are going to wind up that next chapter as well as next chapter ke bare mein batao tabhi batao now bye bye jaldi se aao bhag bhag bhag